Sega Saturn's how you play the game. <laughs> All right, welcome everybody. This can be just a quick little video here, talking about some games that you can get on Steam right now that I didn't know about truthfully until just recently. But if you are a big Sega Saturn fan and you felt like you missed out on some really great shooters that were only in Japan, there is a way of getting them on Steam. So there is a release out there called the Saturn Tribute Games that are based on the Sega Saturn. And as you can see right here right now, I do have my Steam page on up. And I have a title up here called Saturn Tribute. Now, out of all these games, only one of them came out in the U.S., I believe, and that is Layer Section Galactic Attack. So, this one does have both versions. has the Japanese version of it and the U.S. one. But all these other ones, Cleopatra's Fortune, Cotton 2, Cotton Boomerang, Elevator Action Returns, they are all the Japanese games. So, that does mean that it is in Japanese. So it does mean it is in Japanese, and, you know, at least the manual when you're inside the game is in English, so at least you can read up on what you have to do here. But these games, all of them, were only about $14 each, and well worth the price if you're looking at getting some of them. Like, Elevator Action Returns is expensive, which I'll show here off of um, my eBay stuff. And as you can see, Elevator Action is just simply outrageous in price. I mean, four or $500, that's kind of insane. Um, the two cotton games are also pretty expensive. I never checked out the Cleopatra Fortune. Um, it's a puzzle game, kind of like a Tetris type of thing. Two of the games that were still pretty affordable are Layer Section and Metal Black. Those two are still pretty affordable. Um, I believe Metal Black right now is the one that's really climbing up in price still. But like I said, these are a way of playing the game if you want to purchase them. There are other ways to play these games. If you are so inclined, I mean, I'm not going to get into that. But I'm pretty sure we all know what I mean by that. But like I said, if you're looking at actually purchasing the games, this is a pretty good route. I am going to go over one thing with layer, um, not layer section, elevator action real quick. A lot of people have had problems getting this one to start, so I'm going to actually fire this one on up real quick. For some reason, it has a hard time seeing the controller. So up to here, it's fine. It comes in fine. But when you start hitting the controller to try getting past this, for some reason, it does not like to work. So at this point, when you hit um, the controller, try getting into it. I'm hitting the start button. I'm using an Xbox Series X controller. Nothing happens. What you have to do here is you have to hit Z on the keyboard. And the game usually opens up another window real quick, which is what it's doing right now. And mine opened up down below. Now, all of a sudden, the controller works. A lot of people have this issue. Um, there's never been a patch released or anything yet. So if you get this game, this is one of the things you will have to deal with. Is that you have to hit Z first on there, and then usually the controller pops in second. And here's what I mean by all the games are in Japanese, even though it says English in here. Playing guide, this at least is all in English, so you can at least read up on that. But physically wise, the game is in Japanese. Even though most Japanese games were in English, long they weren't RPGs, so. But Cotton, any story mode in Cotton, is in, as you can see in the bottom right now, Japanese. Um, Cotton, the full story, is in Japanese, so. Just keep that in mind when you're playing them. But they are really good games, so. And I'll show you a little bit here of Elevator Action, which is a game, if I would have seen it beforehand, I probably wouldn't have even decided to try buying, but dang, this thing is fun. Dude, shoot these guys in the head. Hold that barrel. Ooh, he's on fire. You wouldn't think elevator action would be a very fun game, but it is. Oh, 
Oh yeah, by the way, you can get squished if you're not careful. Alright, I hope this kind of showed you guys a little bit of what can be done here. There are these eight games. They are done by Connection City, is the ones that did it. Let me go over to the store page real quick here. Or City Connection, I mean. They are the ones that released all these. They have a lot of good, if you're into shumps, they have a lot of good um, shoot 'em ups in here. Here's their S Tribute series, which is all the Saturn games that they did. They got a lot of really good stuff in here. So check it out and see what you think. Thank you for watching.